Yeah. How's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man and I'm here back home with my dad. <laughs> Hello. So I'm here with my dad back home in Australia enjoying the summer Christmas as you can see from our t-shirts and I figured that I would get my dad on camera because he, you're the last member of the family that's been in my videos. And you've all been asking for me, <laughs> so here I am. Because I did a, a video with my mom. I've done several videos with my sister. Mm. Uh, links to all of those in the description if you want to check out. And Phil, yeah. even though he's not family. And, and Michael. <laughs> Michael. You're making my edit into a model. <laughs> so today I figured I would do a good old session of Antimi Senpai because I haven't done it in two months or so. But And and by the way, it is one of my favourite uh, <laughs> segments that you do. And that's exactly the reason why we're yes. going to do an episode today with you. So I asked you guys over on Twitter to send my dad a bunch of stupid questions and requests, you know, the as per usual with any good old Answer Me Sent By episode. And uh, my dad is going to answer all the questions for us today. As best I can, children. So let's go. My good friend Joe, DJ Joe, says, Have you guys jammed out together? If so, what instrument slash S does your dad play? Well, we have. Yeah, we are, because my dad plays drums. Uh, yeah, and the boy plays guitar. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, guitar. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I play drums. We, and... We've had a few drinks, by the way, children. So yeah, but as you can but see, the title. Responsibly. This is a responsibly. drunk. This is a drunk answer, me saying, by, which <laughs> is another big request that right, my followers yeah. wanted, um, shockingly. Yes. But yeah, we've jammed out together. Yeah, heaps, uh, heaps. Because my dad and I listen to the same types of music. I mean, a lot of music uh, that I'm into, which is from my dad's time, yeah. my dad showed me when I was little. Yeah. And but Joe, Joey's introduced me to a whole stack of albums. Yeah, we like sharing music well, with each other so, yeah. a lot. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, mutual songs that we both really enjoy and know how to play. Like, yeah, mm. when when the electric drum kit was down here. Yeah. But uh, we had to move that after I left because no it one was would right play over it. there and we jam used to jam out here in the rumpus room. Mm. Yeah, it's great. What's like a song that we used to do? I'm trying to think. Uh, Beast of Burden. Mm. Rolling, Rolling Stones. Stones. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, we tried to do like a few punk songs, but you couldn't really keep up. Also, uh, Israel Sun as well. We played Israel Sun. Oh, times. by uh, Silverchair. Silverchair. Yeah, they're great songs. Yeah. Check them out. Yeah. One from another one of my friends, Sol, uh, who says, How did the anime dad meet the anime mom? <laughs> Uh, oh wow. Just That's keep bad. a brief. This, uh, is a, this is a thing that my dad has where whenever he starts to try and tell a story, he goes through like 16,000 tangents before he gets I, to the point. Guys, I'm painting a picture <laughs> which ultimately leads to the crux of the uh, the conversation. So. Put that on a t-shirt. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, TM. So, TM. Well, I, I was working for a Japanese company, went, went to Japan, met a girl from Manly where um, my mum grew up, or well, I grew up, and I was seeing her, and I came back to Australia, thought, you idiot, you didn't go out with any Japanese women, and then a friend, a friend of mine invited me over to his house, because he just moved in with his new flatmates, and one of them was my wife, his oh, mother. I didn't know that, actually. What? I only knew that you met because my mum was a house... Uh, mate, mate of one of your friends. Yeah, Grant and Nanky. Yeah, I, I didn't know anyone, I didn't know anything before that. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah no, we the this girl from Manly and I met her on the flight over to Japan. Wow. And I was, know, see, I didn't know that. I just thought you guys met because roommate. Friend. Oh, that was part of it as well. But you know, there, there was a certain motivation because I I <laughs> I've been in Japan. You had the yellow going, fever. <laughs> I was and I was going out with an Aussie girl who, by the way, spoke very good Japanese. Which oh. is she she lived over there. She was working over there, and she'd come home to visit her mum, and she was on her way back to Japan mm. to go. But then you were like, I want some of those local. Delicacies. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and, yeah. and, 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 this and, and, is the conversation I should be having with my dad. <laughs> well, come on. It's, I shouldn't be talking about delicacies with my dad. It's human as, nature. As you can see, we're very, we're very close. We've always it's been human close. nature, guys. That's what it is. <laughs> if you are able to, can you do an impression of Joey? Can you impersonate your own son? No. <laughs> How the fuck am I going to do that? <laughs> Uh, how about I'm 58 years old, my voice box doesn't go that low. No, okay. Oh, that high, I'm uh, sorry. My voice isn't that high. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, my nat my natural voice isn't mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. isn't that different to you, I feel. Uh, I mean, mum sometimes confuses your voice with mine. Oh, bull. No, she does. <laughs> really? Yeah, she's like, she's like, sometimes when, from far away, I don't know if it's you or your dad. Bad hearing. <laughs> okay, can you do an impression of the anime man then? Like my uh, my YouTube persona. Oh, uh, the only thing the only thing I can remember can is. Can you do my intro? Janet! <laughs> <laughs> no, 
can you do my intro? Um, I just did it with this video. I, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> do it again. It's hey, how's going, everyone? This is the anime man. Hey, what is this an anime man? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm drinking gin. The lightweight over here is drinking beer. Hey, I have to go soon, alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. This one says, does your dad watch anime? No. He likes the fact that I'm a YouTuber, but he doesn't like the fact that I make videos on stuff he has no idea about. No, no, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I actually, I'm quite proud of my son. I think he's done a great job. Um, personally, I'm not into anime. I, I do like occasionally watching, you know, things like Totoro or... Akira. Yeah, Akira. Mm. Akira is a great. Oh, that's a great. See, anime. even non-anime fans think that yeah, movie is great. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. You know, but I'm I'm kind of select about what what sort of what sort of uh, anime I watch. I'm, I'm personally I'm more into violent movies with lots of guns. So, as a true child from the yeah, 60s, and sci-fi, I love my sci-fi. You do like your sci-fi. What's your favorite sci-fi movie? Starship Troopers. There you go. Yeah. Watch it if you haven't. That is actually a good movie. Though. <laughs> and, and by the way, kiddies. If you, if you want to have a good read, Starship Troopers by Robert Heinlein, the original book from the 1940s, which the movie was based on, is a fantastic read and that's a great adaption of the movie. Why do you need Wikipedia when you have my dad? Mm. Wiki dad. Alright, this one says, was it a hard decision to support your son's YouTube career? No, because we don't support it. <laughs> it just does it. <laughs> What are you talking about? Wow, <laughs> that was like that was like a Shyamalan twist. Like I don't think I don't think anyone saw that one coming. How was it for him to live with a different cultured wife? What were the hard parts and what were the best memorable parts? Look, not really. I've known uh, Japanese people since uh, my early twenties. Yeah, you know, like Aki. I, I met Aki when I was twenty. And even even growing up, we we did a project in primary school. I remember at Manly West uh, Primary and. Uh, the, uh, it was about Japan, and I, I, I was even more fascinated by the country. I really wanted to go there, mm. even as a, a 12 year old or 11 year old. It kind of annoys life. me how we never, at least in my school, we never learnt about Japanese history. And isn't that funny? I mean, you yeah, didn't either, right? Yeah, well, I did. In, well, you did, okay. yeah, in the 1970s. Well, there you go. Get your shit together, Australian schooling system. Yeah. Jesus. And elsewhere. So it says, give us your best dad joke. You know, in good old Australian tradition, let's make it as offensive as possible. <laughs> well, I'm actually going to have to think about that. Really? Case. Yeah. Okay, we'll come back to it then. We'll yeah. come back to it. Okay, this one says, of all the things Joey has ever done, what are you the most proud of? I think in general, you've done really well for yourself. I, you know. <laughs> That's such a parent answer. <laughs> no, I mean, there's nothing specifically that I can say the kid's been really good at, but you know, he's, he's done all right. What about my YouTube channel? Yeah, that's what I'm referring to. Okay. Everything. <laughs> oh, you know, you, you, you did your due, due diligence, you, you, you did your uni degree, you got, you got, you got that bit of paper, mm -hmm. you even did an internship in Tokyo. Yeah. So, you know, full cred. See, I've, I've worked to get here, guys. Yeah. No, he may look stupid, but he's not, <laughs> alright? Actually, he may look like some sort of sheepdog at the moment. Uh, there's been who, a lot of- who, been a else, lot, who else out there wants him to have a haircut? There's, there's been a lot of uh, nicknames that my comment section has given me, like John Wick and Japanese Jesus. Japanese Jesus? Yeah, Jesus-kun, I see it's a lot. Like a, a bit like a nose but, kind of a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> the nose that we don't know where it came from. Can you roast Joey in pure Aussie slang goodness? Uh, how, what's the level of roasting? <laughs> the thing is, my dad roasts me daily, <laughs> so whatever he says, I'm gonna be like, yeah, uh, hi. Uh, you got a face like a drop pie, you <laughs> I think a short I, one. I think, all, I think all the Americans are expecting you to say, you wanker. Wanker? No, the thing is, US citizens out there, wanker is also a British term. I think the Brits will say it more than the Aussies, right? I, I think Australia probably adopted from the uh, yeah. from the Brits. Like, instead, like mm. I don't think I've ever unironically called someone wanker. I have Are lots you? of times, <laughs> I, uh, heaps of times. I just particularly in traffic. I just <laughs> now you said worse things in traffic. My favorite thing you ever said in traffic, and I've told this to my friends. <laughs> but my my dad has pretty bad road rage. You know, no, I, I don't. You, you do, as anyone would. I mean, like. You don't get violent, but the things you say become very creative. Right. And my favorite thing you've ever said, I think I was like 10 years old or something, and you were, I think you were trying to get into a parking lot, right. and some guy cut you off or something like that. And then you just beeped because you almost crashed into him. Mm. <laughs> I remember the exact words you said, you f***ing knob gobbler. <laughs> Suck 
of, or like, it's an even more descriptive version of yeah. Yeah, it's just the literary version. Yeah. You f***ing knob <laughs> Probably a Volvo driver, I'm sure. I've never heard you say that, and I remember, like, I was like 10 when you said that. In the back of the car being like, whoa! That's some new words. Oh, that's hilarious. Wait, wait, have you still figured your dad joke? Uh, yeah. How do you make a hormone? How? You kick her in the crutch. <laughs> the thing about dad jokes is that dad jokes are in the moment. So right, they're, they're in conversation. Yeah, there has to be something that fires a dad joke. Right, right. And that's when it's poignant, you see. It's Can I say your, my favorite dad joke of yours? All right. You say it all the time, but back when my sister and I were in high school, we couldn't do part-time jobs, so the only way we could get allowance is through allowance, right? Yeah. It's a span. And, and so they because- work for it, Yeah, and so because of yeah. that, we constantly were like asking for more, like trying to get our parents to pay for something as often as we could. <laughs> and I remember, uh, Ellie used to say it the most, my sister used to say it the most, but she'd run up to you somewhere in the shopping center, and she'd be like, Daddy, Daddy, can I borrow five dollars? Yeah. <laughs> you would say, <laughs> but doesn't mean I will. <laughs> and you just used to, you used to say, it got so annoying back when I was like in uni because I would say like, Dad, can I just borrow five dollars, I'll give it back to you. And you'd be like, you can. <laughs> and you just don't say anything. <laughs> Another one of my favorite tricks was my daughter, Ellie, would, would come up to me in, shop, in the shops and she'd go, Oh, Daddy, Daddy, you gotta come and have a look at this. And she'd grab my hand. And as soon as she did, I turned into a handicapped person walking along, being led along by my daughter. She, she actually stopped it really quickly. Do you remember that? I'm just saying, your impression of the handicapped thing is going to make Tumblr go crazy. Oh, sorry. This one says, what's his favorite hentai? I don't watch that shit. <laughs> I watch real porn. No, I watch real porn. <laughs> What's the demographic here? It's 50-50 male and female, I think. No, I mean age-wise. Oh, like 18 to 24. Okay. But to be honest, guys, I don't get the idea of hentai. If you want to watch, if you want to watch people fuck, watch real people fuck. <laughs> Like, what? You can't. And these unbelievable dimensions that you get in hentai as well. That, I feel that's a bit of a stereotype though of hentai. Why? Because, like, people think, like, the first, I feel the first people think when they think hentai is, like, gigantic boobs and gigantic tits with gigantic dicks. Oh, and it's like, right. right? Yeah. Yeah. That's that, exactly what I think. That is, like, that's like, that's like listening to Led Zeppelin and being like, oh, okay, so all rock music must sound like Led Zeppelin. You know what I mean? Like... You're serious? It, it differs that much? I feel, excuse and, me, and real... Excuse me, children, I'm just changing the flavours. <laughs> well, keep talking, man. No, no, no. <laughs> You're not even in frame. Well, that's alright. I can still hear you. No, you gotta... You, come, come back inside. <sighs> Okay, this one says, does he watch all your videos? Which is his favorite? I mean, again, you don't really watch a lot of my videos because it's I, about something you don't really get. Well, yeah, I, I, yeah to be honest, I, I don't necessarily watch all of his videos. The, uh, yeah, the intricacies of some of his videos related to anime, I, I just don't get. I've never seen them. So You're not in the community. It, it's, right? I'm yeah. not, it's not relevant to me, but right. I, I do enjoy um, his videos with Chris. I really enjoyed oh, that. Oh, Chris Broad? Yeah, I really enjoyed Shout out to my boy Chris Broad. Yeah, yeah. I'd really like to meet you, man. I wouldn't mind having you here. <laughs> I don't actually. think Chris is going to watch this. <laughs> well, <show>. whatever. <laughs> but I will um, let him know, personally. All right, okay. Uh, and of course, uh, Answer Me Senpai. Well, there you go. Yeah. You're on your favorite series, which I used to do weekly, now I do bi-monthly. <laughs> More like yearly at the moment. What's the most memorable moment you had with your son? Actually, one sticks in my mind. Mm -hmm. And that was when you fell in the pond. For context, my the backyard of like where I grew up has this giant koi pond, mm. but it's kind of below the deck. Yes. So it's a little bit of a drop from the deck, which is how most of my backyard's but, made up. But, but yeah, basically what happened was he was maybe I don't know three or four. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, really young. I was doing some weeding around the uh, around the pond, and there's not a lot of room. As in pulling weeds. Yes, pulling. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. What else is weeding? No, 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 nothing. Okay. Long story short, he somehow made his way through the garden where I was, and he fell into the pond, and mm. he fell, he fell back first. So he was looking at me through the water with his hands in the ar in the in the I kind of get a deep sea dive at it. <laughs> but you had your your arms like this, and you're actually looking at me. Yeah. And I just remember you floating, like right. falling into, well, sinking down. Yeah. You know, just. Freak me out. I do remember that, you know. Yeah. I, I think 
between that and getting lost in Osaka when I was five oh. years old is my earliest memory in that Dortmund I have. Body. Yeah, in Dalton Body. Kitty kids, could you imagine what it's like looking for a dark haired kid in Dalton Body? <laughs> in a dark haired country. In a dark haired country. <laughs> And it, it was just insane. Yeah. Alright, this one says, how's your day been? <laughs> really good. Thanks for asking. No worries. Does your dad know Japanese, and if so, how did he learn to speak? It? Living with a Japanese woman for 30 years. <laughs> yeah, that would definitely mm. help. What's your, what's your favorite Japanese word again? Suzuki. <laughs> I told that to my I told that to my like local friends in Japan about it. Like only can only speak Japanese to have a local friend. Mm. That my dad's favorite word was sujigiri, which you know definitions on the screen right now. I.e., it's not a word that you use today. Right? <laughs> a lot of Japanese don't even know it. Yeah, but the ones but I told that to my local friends, and they always just piss themselves laughing. And the fact that your dad's favorite word is a word we haven't said in 300 years. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all Japanese. Okay, this one says, uh, why is your dad literally Jeff Goldblum? <sighs> <laughs> do you like Jeff Goldblum? Yeah, I do. I do. I mean, he's a little bit crazy. <laughs> he's... I've seen him interviewed on, you know, Graham Norton. He's yeah. not really quite bad <laughs> at all. Right. I'm together, guys. Yeah. So call him the together Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> no, call me Joe. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, I don't know if I said, like, ever publicly, but me and my dad have the exact same name. In fact, the past six generations have all been some iteration of I'm Joey. Jo I'm Joseph the Fifth, and he's Joseph, Joseph the, the sixth. sixth. Represent. I'm a real JoJo family. What kind of influence, uh, whether it be music, literature, etc., has mm. your dad inherited you when you were young? I mean, music you yeah, most music, certainly inherited. I so, yeah. Like, I'd say 90% of the music I grew up listening to was from my dad. Yeah, I, I, I used to really enjoy when when Joe was, uh, you know, sort of nine, 9 or 10, you know, early teens, I, I used to really enjoy just sort of introducing him to new artists. You know, guys like Uriah Heep, I, I actually never thought you would enjoy Uriah Heep. Uriah Heep. Yeah, and, and Black Sabbath was another band yeah. that I never thought you'd enjoy. Um, so, but then a few years later, we went to go see Black Sabbath oh, together, and wasn't that a great? That was year? great. Yeah. yeah. How many grandkids do you want to have? However many my children are prepared to provide me. I mean, I'm not providing with anything. I'm just, I'm just adding the sauce. But, huh? Okay, this question says, what's anime? It's a form of Japanese art, which is contrived from the drawing of frames which flicker in front of a camera. Thus resulting is what is otherwise known as a film, which is then broadcast to weeaboos around the world. <laughs> oh can, can someone change the Wikipedia page of anime and just replace it with that? I need to see that. <laughs> just, that was really good. Mm, I used to do narration in documentaries. Not really? No. Oh. <laughs> Could you say something in Japanese? I would like to know how good is your Japanese? Mm. <laughs> you got that, guys? I'm not even gonna add subtitles to that. I'm gonna make... You, if you know what he was saying, comment down below! <laughs> I'm all less out of a drink as well. Can you so. give me another one? Oh, uh, yeah. Kitties don't mind, it. mind me preparing a couple more refreshments. Go and do it in your home bar! Alright, this one says, Did you accept Joey's love for anime when it first started? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you grew up watching it though. Like, you watched like, uh, Kimba the White Lion. Yeah, but that... Or like, uh, Gigantor. No, good point, but yeah. we didn't call it anime. We called it cartoons. Oh, really? Yeah. Because you didn't know it was from Japan. No, we knew it was clearly it was from Japan. Oh, and we had samurai. But the word anime wasn't no. a thing. No, 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 they were cartoons. Okay. To me, the likes of Kimba, uh, Gigantor, Marine Boy, shit, what else? It was a whole host of others, but they they were cartoons. They were Marine Boy was probably close to an anime. Mm. But the I don't know if Marine Boy is an anime. Is it an anime? No, it's a cartoon. I mean, is it Japanese? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Must be, I mean, I, it's a very old one, so I haven't seen it. I, well, because the thing is, I don't know what type of anime was streaming on TV in the 60s and 70s, so... Mm. Firstly, uh, it was broadcast. Uh, you know what I mean. Streaming happened... This is why I don't like talking IT with a guy who's worked in IT for 30 years. 
35. Favorite holiday, even if it is one that doesn't exist in America? Personally, Australia Day. Which is January 26th. Which is just the day where we celebrate the founding of Australia, right? Was the founding of the colonization or the founding of the continent? No, it's, it, no, no, it's, it's the celebration of, uh, and the Aboriginal, this is why the Aboriginals call it Invasion Day, was that it celebrates the first fleet coming from Right. England with the first convicts. So it's the equivalent and they to... they landed, had landed in, in, in um, Sydney Harbour. So it's the equivalent to 4th of July. It's more like, um, you know, what's that uh, celebration in the US in, uh, you know, the pilgrims landing on the rock? And... Thanksgiving? No. Constitution Day? Yeah, whatever. But that, I think that's an Australian one. Who cares? It's the US. Yeah. Australia Day. Australia he's a true blue Aussie. Yeah, lot, lots of Australian <laughs> patriotism on the streets and you know lots It's of... basically, to sum it up, it's basically a, a already drunk Australians getting more drunk than usual. Yeah, but in a friendly, <laughs> friendly nationalistic way. Right. Yeah, best way to describe. Lots of barbecues. Have you won versus won an alligator? First of all, we have crocodiles here, not alligators. Uh, no. <laughs> I haven't wrestled one, but I have like, uh, you know, done the experience thing in Thailand where you, you know, touch the crocodile. Not a plushie or anything? No, no, yeah. it's a real one. <laughs> I wrestle plushies at home all the time. But... Oh, yeah. Especially the ones that say waifu. Yeah. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> and this one says, how many tongue twisters can your father say by heart without failing? Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather. There's one that I can never say, which is an Australian one. I think, which is a blue bug's blood yes. or Irish wristwatch. By the way, red leather, yellow leather is a good one for Japanese people. Yeah, red, 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 red. What do you love about Japan? What's your favorite location? I mean, first of all, how many times have you been? 30? 30 times. I don't know. So you've experienced all corners yeah. of it, let's just say that. Oddly enough, I haven't. I've, I've done a lot of Honshu. I've never been to Hokkaido. Uh, never been to Kyushu or Shikoku. I've never been to Kyushu or Shikoku either. Yeah, but I went to Okinawa is with you. Hmm. So it's mainly been Honshu, but uh, what do I like about Japan? I just like, I like the people, I like the culture, I, like, I love the food, the food's fantastic. Mm. I don't know, it's spiritualism almost mm. with the Japanese people, so it's, it's hard to describe, but yeah, I, I like the place. And what's your favourite location? Top one would, would have to be uh, Kyoto. Kyoto? Mm. What do you like about Kyoto? Like the spirituality? Yeah, you're saying yeah, before? Sanju Sangen door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take some shoe warmers when you go to Kyoto, it's been winter by the way, because you have to take your shoes off a lot. And nothing worse than cold feet. Okay, this one says, how often are you attacked by drop bears? Drop bears, now that's that's actually an Australian invention. Is that an Australian? I don't know, but I like the first reply, which says more than the amount of Tim Tams consumed. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's definitely an Australian. Fact of the matter is never, but drop bears do exist. Any of those folks overseas, when you come to Australia, just keep an eye on the tree cover above because drop bears are everywhere. <laughs> Now you've just confused half my audience into now thinking that they have just confirmed from an Australian who lived and grew up in Australia that drop bears actually do exist. But they do. Yeah. Just, just watch out for them, alright? Or, or do they? <laughs> <laughs> Wikipedia, that shit. <laughs> and last question. How much alike are you and Joey? Be completely honest, not at all. I mean, when we, like when I was growing up, apparently I looked nothing like you. No, that's true. I look more like mum, right? Um, if anything. Truth be told, you look like your uncle Dan a lot more my, than yeah, me. Yeah, my uncle. But how how alike are we? Not at all. Um, I mean, we're into the same stuff a lot of the time, like music. And there's a little bit of overlap, but a little I, bit. I love my cars. He he's not into cars. You I like love sport. Um, I'm not a sporty guy. Neither is he. We like watching sport. We do. But moving around shit? Nah, forget that. No. Nah. I'm a technologist. I love my technology. You, you you're a user of technology, mm. I would say. I think so. What else? We like to drink. But other than that, I don't know if we're alike in any way. I, I can think of a few things, but I don't know if it's because it's an Australian thing. Like, or if like? it's because, you know, like the facts, you know, stuff like we like to drink, or we like yeah. sunshine, or we like going to the beach, and you know, just... But that's like anybody though. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, it might just be an anybody who lives here kind yeah. of thing, rather than a unique thing between you and I. Yeah, yeah. We like women. Well, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> you're the evidence. <laughs> no, you're the evidence. <laughs> no, that's what you're <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Other than that, no, I don't look like Jeff Goldblum, unfortunately. No. But the boy does have a perfect Roman nose. I mean, look at look at this profile. Look, this is a Roman nose. Zoom in on that, Thomas. <laughs> look at that. 
Well, you can line that. You can, you know, I can stick no. my face in some sand and you'd perfectly see where my nose was. Now that's a ski jump if you plan on just that. <laughs> <laughs> It's a slow start and then a sudden climb. <laughs> Straight down. <laughs> Oh, uh, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. <laughs> We're going to go drink a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, thank you to everybody who asked questions and all of that. Hopefully, uh, my dad entertained you as much. Um, if you'd like to leave questions for the next Answer Me Send by, which God knows when that's going to come out, then leave it in the Sometime comments. soon, guys. <laughs> Sometime soon. Then use the hashtag Answer Me Send by on Twitter or leave them in the comment section of this video if you don't have a Twitter, you can't be fucked to make one. How do you feel now that you've uh, been on my channel? Oh, I'll, I'll wait for the comments. <laughs> my dad's going to read the comments, so don't write anything too f up, please. I don't, I don't want to get judged. No, that's cool. From you. That's cool. You can all go get f up otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah. And, 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 and apologies for the profanity. I wouldn't normally do it, but I'm <laughs> yes, you would. <laughs> what are you talking about? Can you do my outro? I appreciate your time. I, I can't remember it. <laughs> you said it in the video, remember? Yeah, I know, but I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, Sorry. thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Like and favorite if you enjoy. Subscribe for any better. Keep watching anime. Apologies Johnny. for disappointing. <laughs> We'll <laughs>